Welcome back to the second Korean War, the Busan Pocket. I have the 12th Marine Regiment and the 135th uh, Seed Squadron, and that is not gonna be enough. And I also have the USS Nimitz Battle Group, which is for all of the Hazard Fer Perry frigates. I'm gonna take the 24th Armored Battalion as well, disembark it. Uh, over there. And it will be time to fight for Seoul. Now, with these units against the 41st Infantry Regiment, anti air Company, Anti-Ship Squadron, and 22nd Armor Battalion, it should be easy enough. But amphibious landings are a bit tricky, and the problem here specifically is that I need to take either uh, Yunnan or um, Sandag or Chor One if I want to have any chance of getting resupplied by you know, using any of my ground units. Anyway, I will deploy two Oliver Hazard Perry frigates, a bunch of monitor zippos, and a bunch of tanks. Yes, tanks. Naval landing, boys. Naval landing, indeed. Well, maybe not the old the monitor zippos there. Maybe just two, maybe, that will do. So, uh, I will deploy these tanks, but I'm gonna be a bit clever about it and deploy them maybe in this location. I can obviously call in more tanks when necessary. Anyway, let us begin. One of the things I obviously want to avoid here is uh, getting entangled in a fight with anything, but... Alright, by all means, bring those ammo and eight gunships. Now those all of our hazard parries, I've destroyed much What are your orders, sir? My staff and myself are ready, sir. Much of their gunship support using the frigates. That was the goal. Okay, I need some more uh, units. Another TACOM, maybe. No, actually, I'll take this LAV. My pleasure. My pleasure. Since Oliver has her parry, is capable of. Uh, Just spit it out. Uh, providing. Yes, 
Hey, that did it. I think the choppers are mostly dealt with. I'll bring in this, these landing craft. I think they would be able to... Alright, chopper That's destroyed. Monitor Zippo moving in. If only I could bring those frigates closer. Fight, sir, or another bluff. You got something for me? 
Well, there's been some casualties, but nothing Fire too pressure. extreme. I'm all here. Well, they've, they've taken extreme casualties. And that's the FOB, finally. Almost there. Okay, victory. The goal here is for me to see which units I can deploy and then use immediately after. Now that will work <laughs> very well in fact, very very well. Juicy. Okay, uh I think I don't need more F sixty tanks. Could deploy I think I will actually. Alright. That should do just fine. Just being fairly Cautious. I I could move forward. I will not move forward. Um, now how to deal with this one? Nah, I'll just end the turn. What are they going to do against me? Do I have? Yeah, I do have hawks. I should be able to deal with that, no problem. Ooh, uh, the problem is they've just deployed a whole lot of units here. The remnants of their southern forces all arrayed against this, these units. Possibly doable, the issue is a bit heavily outnumbered, am I not? Now this unit here, now this is gonna be a joke of a situation. This, however, not so much. I mean, not with those A51s, not with those Mi-25s, and not with all the shit that they're throwing against me. But, uh, I do have the uh, 72nd Armored Battalion.
Okay. Give them hell, boys. The M1 Abrams advance M1A1. Advance. Are you talking to me? Pretty extreme casualties that I'm inflicting on these guys. I'll also bring more units here. They're planes that take a toll. Oh shit. Yes, sir. Just waiting for a target to fly by. And then. Lead me. Follow yep. Get out Bringing the tanks to bear there. Double shite. Well, this is what happens when your units are so close to the enemy from the start. Well, so much for those M60. That is exactly what I meant. All right. Well, despite the despite the loss of some of my tanks, I have managed to successfully push. Forward here. I think one guy described the, the t M1 Abrams tank, the old ET hand of God, will need to smite it <laughs> to take it down properly. And that is certainly the case with a lot of the M1 Abrams. They're very hard to take down as tanks. And that is a mighty victory. So yes, I lost to M1 Abrams, big deal. I did lose some Hawks, two Hawks, two M60, and some LAVs, but that's a big, that's not a big deal. Uh, avoid battle, fall back. Uh, the problem for them in this situation
Oh, wrong one. Yeah, wrong one. Eh, completely wrong one. That will do. Now, do I not have any kind of anti air unit? Nope. Well, I guess I could bring in the F-18 Hornets. There is a tank regiment. The only thing that needs to be said about holding Seoul is... <laughs> all I need to do to hold Seoul is just keep that unit there. More or less. Alright. Actually, I think I'm gonna withdraw the he helicopter regiment. Um. Okay. They want to be complicated then. You can do complicated. Actually, I think I will keep them over there on that side. Let's do it. Anything for us, sir? Moving 
on that position. Let's rock and roll. Just spit it out. What are your orders, sir? Leave me. Follow me. Get out of my way. The captain and his crew welcome you aboard. Heading to given grid reference. We're on the move. We're on the move. Pack up your gear, folks. We're moving again. Just spit it out. Are you talking to me? It's gonna rain down on them crawlers. The sky is ours. Ready to move, sir. I'm making an attack run. At the ready, sir. Okay, the only thing I need to deal with, well, beyond throwing the enemy out of Busan once and for all, and retaking uh, lost ground. Gonna throw everything I have. RK Army Reserve, all right. Let's have the two battles of Busan. It's called, so called whatever. And for all they fucking have. Destruction points. <laughs> look at this army. Just look at that army and tell me they're gonna win. They're not gonna win. They're gonna get smashed to pieces. Hell, you know what? I'm tempted to just auto-resolve it. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Maybe this as well. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So, I will need to fight that one at least, but Busan should be, you know, major victory, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna fight this on the ground though. Deploy all my K1 tanks and just smash for the enemy with ease. I retreated because I wanted to retreat. That is the point. Alright. Just deploying more or less everything. The real issue will be, I guess, here, I suppose. Uh, I need better command vehicle deployment than that. No, that will not do. Command vehicles do I have anyway? Yeah, some NPCs, I guess. All right. So, uh, uh, K1 tanks over there. That will do. That'll do just nicely. And some infantry, I think, uh, over here. Guard the pass. Hold the village. All right. The battle 
of Busan. Need more K ones. Where are they? Oh, they deployed, I think, all their units on that side. Okay. I think I'm still gonna keep the planes here. Just in case. Cargo units. We're shooting at trucks. All right. More K ones. Just in case. I'll just position them in the woods. Those MDs. Oh, they only have Frank. Grenade launchers. All right. Wonder where their command unit is over there on that side. Could await me. The attack helicopters were built at least. This is a bad thing. I need those peace.
we go. The sound is safe. No, interestingly enough about these guys, I don't think they have any anti-air except maybe some Strellas, but they're not gonna stand a chance against some Super Cobras. Oh, uh, that's actually gonna be the biggest problem. They're gonna be able to deploy quite a lot of units, but I do have the numbers advantage, I do have the unit advantage. Um, so I figure I should be more or less fine. Anyway, gonna deploy a bunch of tanks. Four units here. Two units, maybe here. Two, well, one Super Hornet. Two Super Cobras. Sea Cobras. And, well, I figure that's probably about it with With the unit to Advancing scout to ahead. This will more or less be the thing that. Look at those super cobras. Lovely beasts. Let's hope the enemy don't have any air defense. They don't. That's the one thing I know they don't have. On my way to coordinates. Out. Back. They're bringing in planes. Ready, uh, not, not planes. Plane. Fuck it. Hell, what am I talking about? They're not bringing in planes. That's actually the the bad part. They're bringing in their choppers. And that, obviously. Okay, the Super Cobras. So they they've got AGM 122s, but those are not designed to deal with. Uh, they are not designed to deal with helicopters. They're designed to deal with jets. All right, get the hell out of here. I need that tail rotor check. All right, this needs to be a decisive victory. Sky is 
Just spit it out. Guardian Angel? and more support. Are you talking to me? I've done already some heavy damage. At your order, sir. I can probably just recover and, uh, and finish them off, more or less. Thank you. 
Total victory, the enemy is cut off from its rear and its entire army is routing. Some political personalities in Ponyan are trying to contact us for negotiations. Thanks to your command, this communist regime may collapse soon. This is a turning point in the history of Korea. You need to win before day 5. So the goal isn't really with a lot of these campaigns to just win, uh, but to get a total victory, which is what I did, uh, you need to be able to annihilate uh, the enemy. It's a war of annihilation. And that's what sucks, I guess, in a sense, in Bear vs. Dragon, Pearl of the Orient. Winning them is not so hard. War of Annihilation, though, and one of which is a defensive campaign, the other one is you against the Soviet Union as China in a time when China wasn't really the top dog. That's a bit more complicated. And also the maps themselves for these campaigns aren't too enjoyable. So anyway, Kostin here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more. And if you like my content, do consider supporting me via PayPal or Patreon. Climb out Nora Naya is coming soon.